What's good, y'all? Hope you're having a good Monday. Well, you'll probably be watching this on Tuesday. Today, we're uh, going to be using a Chetillon Lux scent called Weinstress. This has been around for a while. Um, great scent, guys. Uh, I actually had mixed feelings about this scent when it first came out. Oh, we're going with the synth today. I know. Very unlike me. Um, I'm a badger boy, you guys know. But um, I don't know. I thought I'd just give a synthetic... Uh, a world today. This is the uh, Omega Evo uh, with a, I don't know, it's not like, I don't know if it's like a cashmere or anything. I don't know. All I know is this is a fantastic synthetic knot. So we're going to soak that real quick. You don't really need to soak these, but why not? <laughs> um, so for the pre-shave, we'll go with some Amy um, serum, pre-shave pre -shave serum. He says to use three pumps. So we're just going to follow Peter's instructions and do that. All right. Sweet. Let me just wash my hands real quick. All right, cool. So for the razor, I'm um, probably going to use something that's been not been used enough recently. Tatara Massimune. This is the Nadachi. Can't really see. This is the Nadachi uh, top cap with the Massimune base plate, which I believe would give it a neutral blade exposure. And we're giving the Tatra blades another spin. So we'll go with that. I'm sure it's been soaking long enough. It's a joke. But yeah, let's get into the load, boys. So um, I probably don't need to load as long since I'm using a synth, but I forgot how long I'm supposed to load with a synth. It's been quite a while, guys. But whatever. This is a great scent. As you might uh, have figured from the name, the name Weinstress, it's very um, grape forward. It's kind of like a white grape, not like I know I did use, uh, ironically, I used Glog yesterday. That's got to be a good enough load, right? Soups. Battery notification. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, this is a lot brighter. When I go over the notes, you'll kind of see why. Mm. Yeah, so this is my favorite synthetic knot. The reason I like it over other synths is because it's it's kind of like more dense than your average synth. I don't know. Maybe. Um, it's got a good backbone. It's not floppy, but it's not super stiff either. And that's a big problem with a lot of synthetic knots. They, uh, they're either like super stiff or they're super floppy. And this kind of reminds me of a badger knot. And it even retains water too. Like if I were to squeeze water uh, like let it soak and squeeze water, you see a lot of water come out. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I just don't like, I don't like the springy feel of synthetics. Um, for those who are wondering why I don't really use them, they actually used to be my favorite knot for like, a long time. When I never really got into wet shaving, I used bore knots. Um, it was all I knew. It was cheap. It worked fine. Um, those are annoying because you have to soak it, but I'll make that in a separate video if I remember. <laughs> bore knots. But um, synthetics, in terms of performance, nothing really beats them. Um, and I'll be the first to tell you guys that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm all for badgers because I like the luxurious feel that they have, but terms of performance and lather ability, if that's a word, not really. Um, you can't really beat synthetic. And I think anyone who says otherwise is kind of um, full of crap. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I've tried it all in the badger world, so. But for me, it doesn't matter. I'd rather have a denser knot, it feels better on the face. And that's just my preference, so. 
how to feel about the knot, but yoke steak is pretty easy to lather, so not an issue at all. This is a fantastic set, guys. To me, this is like a sleeper in the Chatillon Lux line. I don't know if it's really a sleeper because a lot of people like it, but um, I actually got the splash like in the summer. Didn't really like it at all because I was expecting to get all these scent notes. I was just severely underwhelmed by the splash. It just smelled up like straight alcohol to me. And then uh, I gave it away to a friend. And then um, I think it was with one of my Chitian Lux orders. Uh, Sean threw in a, a EDT sample, right? <laughs> this is literally the story of how I came back to this scent. He threw in an EDT sample, right? I was like, ah, screw it, whatever. Let me just sm throw it on my arm, see what happens. Oh yeah, this lather is perfect right now. Um, well, let me get started with the first pass before I end up talking too much. If I can find my album, okay, cool. Oh, that's smooth. Damn it, dude. I haven't used this razor in so long. Very good residual. Yeah, I could, uh, I could close my eyes and shave with this razor. Very little bleed feel. Super smooth. Medium efficiency. It's not the most efficient, but it's medium. So about average, maybe just above. It's not like, uh, I don't know, what's an efficient razor? I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of anything. But it's not crazy efficient, but... Good enough. Anyways. I sprayed the EDT on my arm. I was like, screw it, whatever. I might like it. I might not like it again. And dudes, like, I just got, like, so many scent notes from it. I got everything. Like, it just, like, the complex scent that I was looking for. I don't know if the aftershave splash I got was a bad batch or... It was sitting in sunlight and got damaged because that could happen to a fragrance. It can get damaged. You want to do it in a cool place out of sunlight um, because I bought it from like an older batch. Because uh, Scott went on like a hi hiatus making soap. So at the time, we could only get the splash. I couldn't really judge the soap. Um, awesome. But anyways, um, the EDT just smelled like freaking phenomenal. Um, sorry, just wiping the blade. Um, I think I'm done with this pass. Yeah, like I got the white grape, I got the lavender. It was just, the sentence just to me was beautiful in the EDT and it had such strong staying power. I actually have the sample laying around, but I can't find it. So go figure. But um, it's not like my favorite um, Chatillon Luxon or anything, but I'd say it's in the upper echelon of them. I like them more than a lot of others. And I'm glad I got it back. Ken actually sold me this set. So I'm glad he sold that back to me. Anyways, the set notes are musk, black currant, uh, grape, honeysuckle, iris, lavender, helo crimson. Did I say that right? Might have said that wrong. Sandalwood and coumarin. So, damn, this lather is great. I forgot how easy it is to lather with synthetics. But then again, it's pretty easy with badgers. Just get proper load. Pretty easy. It just uh, releases the lather a little bit better than I'd say badgers do. Just noticeable. That's like the main noticeable thing for me. And the fact that um, the water, it doesn't really hold on to water. So, it's easier to mix in. Anyways, um, yeah, so I get the grape, the honeysuckle for that sweetness, the lavender kind of brightens things up. I don't really get the sandalwood. Um, maybe I get the coumarin. I'm starting to get coumarin in a few soaps, like uh, like a few soaps I've gotten recently, or used has coumarin in it, but I'm not sure, so I'm not sure if I can pick it out or not. I'm not too familiar. But predominantly, it's like grape. And especially in the ET, you just get explosion of um, all the scents. But for me, it's a musky grape, but it's not overly musky. 
and the lavender, like I said, does brighten it up. Um, yeah, it's just a banger <laughs> if you like grape. Um, evidently, I do. <laughs> Tatra Blade is doing phenomenal, but when I used it last week, it sucked on the second use. Like, it was phenomenal. I threw it in the Titanium 2 off camera, threw it in the Wolfman, and the, the shave was like absolute trash. Had a ton of irritation. Damn, this is, a, this is just smooth sailing. Yeah, um, and surprisingly, the scent strength is very good on this soap. I would give it a 6 out of 10. Kind of reminds me of Orion and Evans, um, which are known for having very strong scents. So, all right, that's pretty much the second pass. I just keep smelling it because I enjoy it. Um, I saw Chris's video the other day. It's kind of unfortunate. He did not take to the liking of 88 Chestnut Street. And um, I had the splash for it. And it had like such a strong citrusy note to it that it was like my number one scent. And then when I finally got my hands on the soap and the Eau de, de Cologne, if you said that right. I don't know how to say that. Um, EDC. It was way more neroli forward um, than the citrus, and I was kind of disappointed, and it instantly dropped to, like, bottom of my top ten at the time. Um, yeah. So, for some reason, the citrus on that one was just way stronger, but... Um, I don't know. And then I know there's different versions of that, but... Uh, not sure what happened. Why it's different in certain batches. Like, I also have a... Uh, EDT of user rose patchouli. I have multiple EDTs. Like I have a small batch one, and then I have the larger size. And on the smaller one, the it's way more patchouli forward. And on the newer one, it's uh, more uh, rose and yuzu forward. So it's kind of weird, but I guess it happens with materials. Not everything's going to be exact. I know, like for example, like uh, this happens with like. A lot of fragrances, they kind of vary from batch to batch, um, even if, I guess, they're using the same materials. So, for example, Creed Aventus, like the real fragrance, I hear over the years, um, despite the form reformulation changes with the scents, um, some batches smell different than others. So, that's kind of what I'm learning. Um... Not saying he disliked it, the scent, because of the batch. It just wasn't for him, but it happens. It would be nice if uh, Maggards had samples in stock, but they never do. I guess because people know about it. <laughs> Maggards is like the goat of like buying stuff. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> You have West Coast Shaving, you have your Maggards. What do you have? Your, and then up and coming now is the Razor Company. They're pretty dope. It's like $10 or more. And they give you free shipping. West Coast Shaving only does free shipping on orders of like 45 or more. And like, ooh, BBS. Except for the sides here. Yeah, or if it's like a new item. So that's pretty cool. But Maggard's, for example, has fantastic customer service. Should be nice if they'd restock their samples so people could try it. I did recently pick up the uh, cologne from there. It was uh, it was one of the Chatillon Lux ones. It was discontinued and it kind of came leaked. 
And I kind of just didn't bother, like I lost like about five, ten percent of it. I didn't bother like even emailing them because like the sense not even made anymore and that's it. So like it's, it's not like they can get me a replacement or anything. So I kind of left it alone. But damn guys, weird BBS. Just want to do a slight touch up here. If you like razors with no blade feel, I didn't talk much about the razor. Um, with very, not no, like very little blade feel, get the Massimune or the Nadachi hybrid version. If, yeah, if, if, if the Massimune is not efficient enough for you, um, and it just feels like too much of a phantom blade razor, definitely pick up the hybrid. I have yet to try the Nadachi base plate, but I feel like I don't need it. Like it just, it gives me a fantastic shave with uh, the existing setup. Still picking up some stubble. You won't be able to see that. Anyways, all right, let me get into the rinse and then get into the post shave. Oh, man. But yeah, let me tell you, man, if you like grape scents, phenomenal scent. Feather SS. Just doing a shape up. Yeah, the Galaga I used yesterday was like more of a red wine vibe. Very dark. Like an eight, almost like an aged wine. So like, it was like a bitter wine, but it was like brightened up by other scents a little bit. Kinda, not really. And then this is just kind of like, very bright scent um it's just it's like a white grape uh, with some lavender and um uh, yeah like that i'm just telling you what i'm picking up because there's definitely way more scent notes in this but i'd rather just tell you guys what it smells like to my nose so you can help gauge it but um yeah this blade is going on strong these blades don't die Yeah, I'm going to try to upload every single day this week because I'm like rather inconsistent, but I guess when life gets busy, shit happens, right? <laughs> um, awesome, guys. Like, I almost enjoy the scent enough where like I just want to keep lathering, but we're, we're definitely done. Um, very nice. So, I do have the matching splash. Um, if you were to purchase it now, you'd get it from uh, in uh, Declarations Formula, which is also pretty good. Hold on, let me get a little. There right, we good. Yeah, you'd also get it in uh, Declarations Formula, which is also pretty good. So I do prefer the uh, Tian Lux Formula personally, but a lot of people are very happy with the Declaration Grooming ones. So let me just display some uh, Sterium Serum as usual. I like to mix the bomb. And um, it's just the easiest bomb to use right now um, for some reason because it's got the pump. So, All right, that's about like 10 drops. Oh, man. Yeah, see, like this smells different than the splash I had so many months ago. It's crazy. But yeah, what I was trying to uh, touch on is that like fragrances can vary from batch to batch. And um, I'm not blaming the perfumer at all. Like they're they're doing the best they can, the best they can. They're ordering the materials, trying to maintain it. it. This is nothing at any perfumer whatsoever. It's just kind of like a reality in the situation. Um, I mean, I have very limited knowledge of this, of this, but this is what I've been hearing. So, but yeah. This is an amazing shave, guys. Um, I really enjoyed it. I think I enjoyed it more than yesterday's. Um, I just love milk steak. It's just good shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, have a good week. Peace.